All right. Blue flowers. Blue flowers, red thoughts. Blue flowers, red thoughts. This would be so much easier if I wasn't colorblind. Welcome, everybody, back to the Diamond Sword RPG uh, episode 5. I did... Did I find that? I did that already. Um, episode 5, I did consult before I check, uh, before I started, uh, I started recording, and yes, I did make sure that that, that this was episode 5. Uh, last episode, we cleared through the forest dungeon, and we got a couple of things here that were, uh, we got a bow, we got this awesome, uh, old golden blade, and we got all of this fancy new armor, so we're looking pretty good. Uh, we also got a button, the clock tower teleport house entrance key uh using greenville to enter the clock tower teleport house so i think we'll go and give that a shot today uh basically i got a couple things in mind for today but before i get to the plan uh thank you all very much for your support so far on the series um uh, as is usual if you want to see more of the diamond sword rpg i will be i'm gonna finish this map this is like a passion project for me at this point to finish this map but you know a uh, like and a, a like along the way helps the YouTube algorithm uh, favor me a little bit. And if you guys want to see more of uh, my content, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be on the up and up whenever I release new stuff. At this point, it's every day at uh, 7.30 a.m. Central Time is when I'm releasing content. But hit the bell in case I decide to release a little something special. So, uh, plan today... Head back home, right? We're going to head back home. Uh, we got a couple things that we're going to drop off over that way. Then we're going to begin making our way over to Greentown to see what that button's all about. And then finally, we're going to make our way to the next dungeon. Uh, we won't start that dungeon today, but we will make our way over to it. Uh, you see, the, the next dungeon, I remember it being a bit of a longer one. Nice. And I, I still think it's going to be, it would, I wouldn't be able to, I would like to keep my dungeon, the dungeons as their own standalone episode. So for you people who are watching, you know, post map release, uh, it's a lot easier for you to, you know, find what you're stuck on. Uh, it's kind of an organization thing for me, as well as for you guys. So let's see here, web cutter... All right, so uh, home first, home first. Hmm, what's that? Oh, oh, it's a puzzle. I wonder what it does. I wonder what this goes to. Oh, it goes to that. What is that? Oh, I didn't make it. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, wait, hang on. I think I know what's going on here. There's a couple things going on. Uh, there's this puzzle right here. Oh. I don't know if this was in the... Oh. All kinds of spiders now. Oh, oh, shoot. Bane of Arachnids, Bane of Arachnids. I was not expecting this. Holy crap. Mick, you absolute mad fellow. Good God, what was that? Not hitting any more strange buttons. Okay, this is definitely like the coolest parkour puzzle I have done in a very long time. Oh, oh, still made it. Dude. I, I don't know if this was in the last map. This must be one of the improvements. Um, regen 3 and a fake sword. So the fake swords... Oh! Ow! So for those of you, uh, you know, not familiar with the map... Um, how do I get out of here? How do I get out? There must have been a button in the last room I missed. Otherwise, I think I'm stuck here.
Ooh, I didn't make that. Okay. Uh, so for those of you not familiar with the map or the remaster is your first time doing uh, doing this map, um, I've done all iterations of this. I've done Diamond Sword RPG. Am I out of chicken? No, I'm not. I've done our diamond. I've done the original Diamond Sword RPG. I did the the first update, uh, Diamond Sword RPG 1.5, and then this being the remaster where he actually added in a bunch of new stuff as well as updated uh, gameplay. So, um, there is a there is a shop uh, later in the game which does buy stuff from you. Did I miss the button? Is there a button here to get me out? Send me back? No, there isn't. I think I may have found a... Oh, there's no way I messed up something up. Oh, there's no way... It just took a couple shots to work. Okay. Interesting. So where was I? All right. So uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, later in the map, there is a there are some shops which will buy off these fake swords for a few emeralds. I, I think it's it's a little later in the game, but that's all right. We'll, we will get there. We get there when we get there. So let's go to the teleport room, because we got a little bit of business to conduct there. Here's my chest. There it is. Home teleport button. So this... Use this to teleport in your teleport room back to the forest dungeon. Now let's see here. Uh, which one? Swamp dungeon? Forest dungeon. Now we'll be able to teleport to the forest dungeon at will. Maybe just not right now. Oops. Hope I didn't break something. Uh, anyways. I got bones, I got binoculars. I'm not going to use those steel sh shears. Okay, we need to do some inventory management. Well, no. I, do we? Yeah, we kind of need to. Let's sleep first. There's, there's no point in, uh, in working when we're tired. Is there a ender chest around here? Yes, there is. We'll do a little bit of inventory management here. A bit. So these uh, fake swords, those will live in here permanently. Uh, the, the halberd, yeah, that can live there too. Fake sword we'll take out. The empty bottles, we'll, finally fi we'll probably find a bottle trader for those. Uh, the emeralds will just stay here. Shears we won't use. The binoculars we're not going to use. Ooh! that back. Potion, potion, you know, the rest of that looks fine. Let's go find this teleporter. Again, this one's going to be just a little bit of a mundane episode as we, uh, you know, figure things out. Spawn point set, thank you. Uh, green town. Let's see here. Clock tower teleport entrance. That goes here. Nice. So the clock tower teleport entrance is just a place to you know, get some get some extra emeralds, chicken. It's just generally a good spot to go and investigate. Oh, this is supposed to make us look like uh, Link, the green dyed stuff, and look like Link from The Legend of Zelda. It's kind of fun. And we'll all be able to sell this later. Okay, we're done. So that's that mystery solved. So something Mick wanted me to show off. 
Oh, but before we do that, beds are free, beds are always free, and that's stingy, but chickens cost emeralds, gotta pay bills, you know. Oh, what does he expect? We can't all afford a house like the mayor's. Ah, grumble, grumble, sorry, I'm so rude. Uh, Surdy, I'm the innkeeper of the town, although I don't get customers anymore, not since the monsters started appearing yet. Ah, no monsters, no money. How about buying some chicken? Yes. Always support local business. Now, um... There's the button. Let's, uh... I don't know if we'll see the mayor here. House has been empty for years? Yes. Been empty for years, but we're still gonna steal probably the super old chicken. Uh, one thing Mick did want me to show off here real quick, and I think I will do that, is this, uh... Key crafting room. That might be new. Emeralds. I need a chest real quick. There we go. So one thing Mick asked me to show off, or didn't ask me to show off, but told me I should take a look at, but I'm going to show off anyways, is this uh, fortune reader. Fortune's red here, $20. 20 emeralds, I will gaze into my crystal ball until your future or past. What do you say? Yes. That's cool. I can see a secret tunnel to the right of the pyramid in the desert. I also sense a wise person who knows the location of 12 gold coins lives there. Oh. So I'm told that it's kind of static. Oh well. I'm told that the fortune thing is, is, a, is a static, is what Mick said it as. The mayor's house. I wonder if he's home. He ain't. We'll visit the mayor later. I think the mayor is perhaps my favorite character in this whole game. Although for those of you who have uh, seen uh, Diamond Sword RPG 1.5, I might be a little bit biased on that. Alright, that concludes our business in Greentown. Okay. Okay. All right, let's let's actually make some progress now. So the next, our next goal is to get to the swamp dungeon. The swamp dungeon is over in that direction, kind of past those mountains. So obviously we got to get there somehow, because we're not gonna be able to get through that through the glowstone cave. Let's see here. Let me grab my fancy bow and arrow. Ah, here we go. Check it. Oh. Check it. Ta-da! Ah, Swampy Grove Pass. You've opened this place. Seek out the tower here. Oh. Ow. Uh. Hold on. What was I doing? Right, I was fighting off stuff. Slime? What am I... Oh, look at the little slime. Antidote apple. That's new. Alright, I need a second here. Just, I need a breather. Oh, hell. Come on. Heck off. Alright, just give me a second, guys. I will go back to murdering you in a second. I need to read that tech. Now you have opened this place, seek out the tower here. You will need to climb the tower if you wish to go any further. Good luck. Tower. Oh, this tower, the Swampy Grove Tower. Find the ladders. Follow the blue flowers for, for a treasure to climb towers. Look for a river cavern while here in the Swampy Grove Pass. So we need to find a couple of ladders to get into this tower. That I do remember. Wool storage chest. Interesting. Oh, sure the sheep and sell the wool for emeralds. I'm pretty good on emeralds. For right now, anyways.
So what am I doing? Alright, I gotta find ladders. Maybe we won't make it to the, uh... To that, uh... To the swamp tower today. Walk through this? No, I can't. Ooh, what's this map? Huh. Neat. We just, uh, rob you blind. Thank you very much. Rare goods trader. Oh, cool. These are all, uh, rare items trader. Leather boots. Gives you extra walking speed. Rare arrow trader. Mobile potions. What's your shtick? Rare goods. Huh. Neat. A lot of good stuff here. Another fake sword that we're going to end up selling. Beautiful. I'm going to need all this money to help with my uh, rabid barbecue chicken addiction. What's your shtick? Seven holes in the ground? I think this is important. Whatever this is, I think it's important. Oh yes, that we'll be coming back here for sure. What the seven holes in the ground is. So that uh, iron ore, we will be uh, needing that later. And there's nothing down this particular hole, so will it let me... Just let me hit the button, Mick. Oh, actually, there is something. Chicken, hell yeah! Seven holes in the ground, they say. Quite the tourist trap. Quite the tourist trap they have here. Oh. Thank you. Come again. Shoot. Oops, I accidentally held shift when he explicitly told me not to. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that was awesome. This map is very dangerous, apparently. Fake sword, regen potion. Very nice. So that's that hole in the ground. It explored. I don't know if I actually need to be here for to advance. I know I need I know I need to be finding those three ladders. So I don't know if I actually need to be doing the seven hole thing to advance. Ooh, this one's a really big one. Come on, let me grab the Thank you. Health boost. Thank you very much. That's... Um, I just did this one. No, I just did this one. Come on, let me in. Thank you. Uh... More armor? Okay. A lot of stuff I generally don't really need, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I, I'm pretty sure I can sell all this leather armor later. More arrows, much appreciated. Gotta be coming up to the last couple here now. I just did that one. I think this is gonna be the last one and then we can actually, like, progress. All right. Cool, let's make some progress.
All right, so the riddle thing, uh, look for a river, look for a river cavern while here in the swampy room. Look for all the blue part for a treasure. Oof. Okay, what was I doing? Oop, chest. Nice chest, really nice chest. All right, blue flowers, blue flowers, red thoughts, blue flowers, red thoughts. This would be so much easier if I wasn't colorblind. Ooh, is this a place to dump off some of this stuff? Yeah, just a little bit. Teleport to the small house in the sky. reason some of the teleports aren't working you don't need this chest but it makes life easier i'm all about being lazy making life easier oh uh antidote another one of those some special arrows regular arrows hell yeah oh they buy they buy all kinds of wool. Okay. Cool. Oh, the wool storage chest. Got it. Ooh, what are you? A river cavern. Alright, yeah. We'll do the river cavern here first. This one I remember almost dying in. Isn't that spectacular? Evidently, I'm missing something now. River cavern. There are... Oh, wait, here we go. Ah, there we are. This has been updated. This looks really nice. There certainly weren't illagers in here. I think that's what those are. <sighs> Outstanding. This looks awesome. Good job, Mick. I wonder why my knockback doesn't work on these guys. This map looks incredible. This just looks awesome, Mick. Yeah, this is definitely, like, brand new. I am not very familiar with this particular, uh... With this particular puzzle. I'm... And I haven't, like, played this ahead of time. A lot of what I'm doing here, I am reacting to live. But you see, I've been playing... Ooh, what are you?! Why do you hit so hard? Did I just use a slime arrow? I wonder what killed him. I wonder why he still hits like a truck. Okay, those poison arrows, man. Those things are brutal. Holy crap. Or those slime arrows. Those things are brutal. They're awesome. I love them. I love causing death, mayhem, and destruction wherever it is that I go. Thank you. I'm going to have to fight straight. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Dungeon entrance, Swampy Grove Tower, one of three. So let's see what this is. To enter the wet swamps, you need to climb the Swampy Grove Tower. When you do reach the swamps, look for a dungeon there. There is a tale, and it goes something like this. It, the Swamp Dungeon, to reveal the way, see at the end of the day. That is correct. That is correct. To, uh... 
um, have to you have to go to the you have to go to the uh, you have to see the swamp dungeon at the end of the day. Something tells me that they're not just that mix not going to let me just walk out of here. He doesn't operate that way. Oh, for heck's sake. Why are they so angry? Like, why you gotta be this angry, guys? Come on, we're all just fun-loving here. Yeah, that was definitely, like, way improved and kind of awesome. Got 25... Uh, this recording's 25 minutes. So you know what? We're gonna try and get the last of the ladders. Uh, let's see here. Here's the next, uh... Oh, wait, hang on. So where did the blue flowers start? They started here. Yeah, we're gonna get... We're gonna get all three of the ladders, and then we'll... Excuse me. We'll go to the tower. I honestly don't know what the correct way is. Wait, I just came from there, didn't I? Oh, follow the blue flowers. They even said that. Follow the blue flowers. Follow the blue flowers. Follow the blue flowers. Nice. And it's... Oh, he's just gonna let me walk out of here. Bless your heart, Mick. Alright. Uh, one more ladder, and then we can end the episode there. I th honestly... For I legitimately forgot about this whole... About this whole puzzle. I feel kind of like a dingus because I was promising something that I didn't know that I couldn't deliver. Nice. Um. Aha! There we go. This intense of a parkour puzzle. Oh, it's breaking. Dude, he just tried to murder me. That platform, those platforms broke. Oh, how did he do that? Yeah, this has definitely been redone a lot. Okay, well, we have, it appears that we have everything that we need to get into the tower. Yeah, I would say we got everything we need to get into the tower. Uh, ooh. Side questing. We got, yes, we have, I would say we have everything we need to get into the swamp tower, which we will... Ah, we'll be coming back here. That iron ore is important for stuff later. Uh, we get, like, a mine pick or something in, like, a later episode, and we can mine these for, like, special rewards. It's kind of cool. It used to be, like, this awesome set of armor, but I think Mick said that it's changed now. Anyways, uh, when we come back next time, we're going to investigate this, uh, this tower and see uh, what it's all about. Mm -hmm.